Now let's look at is null and is set. I'm going to go to is null, and this is a pretty simple function as well. Um, basically, it takes a value and returns true if that value is null, and returns false if it's not null. So let's create a variable v2, which is equal to is null of v1. And then let's create another variable, v3, which is is null, and I'm going to put an empty string here. So I don't need these error suppression operators anymore because v2 is defined. And let's add another line for v3. And let's see what we get. So I'm going to go back to the browser and hit reload. So I find that null is still of type null, and when you convert it to a string, you get an empty string. Is null of v1 is a Boolean value, which is true or false, and the value is true. When you convert true to a string, you get the number 1, which is odd, but it's what it does. And then v3 is also a Boolean value, and this time the value is false. And so when you convert false to a string, you get an empty string. So v3 is false, which means that an empty string is not null. It's an empty string. v2 is true, so null is null. Now you can do the same kind of thing with is set. So v4 is is set, actually it's is set of v1. And let's do v5 is is set v6. So here's a variable I haven't set yet, and I'm asking if it's set or not. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this line, paste a couple copies, let's do v4 and v5. And these are starting to get long, so I'm going to go ahead and add a tag here. So this is v1. And I'll add v2, v3, v4, v5. And let's see what we get. Oh, um, yeah, I should have put these in single quotes so that the variables don't get expanded. Now let's try it. Great. So v1 is still null, v2 is still Boolean true, v3 is Boolean false. v4 is set of v1 returns false. So null value is considered not set. And then v5 is also, con is also false. So something I haven't set is also considered unset. So there's one other test we need to know about, which is called empty. So this is starting to get complicated. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set a1 to null and then set a2 to an empty string, and then a3 is going to be the number 0, and a4 is going to be true, Boolean value, and then we'll say a5 is false, and a6 is Fred, and a7 is the number 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and write some HTML here. So let me go ahead and comment out these lines. So I don't want them to get in the way of my table. I learned this trick 
from one of the students in this class. Type HTML5, HTML colon 5, and then hit tab, and you get all this stuff for free, which is kind of nice. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and write a table, and I'll do the first row, and in the first cell, I'm going to have the name of the variable, so dollar sign A1, and then I'm going to have the type, which is going to be echo get type of A1. And then I'm going to have the value converted to a string. And then I'm going to have, whether it's null or not, oh, I forgot to close this tag off. starting to get long, so let me go ahead and break it. There we go. And so in this one, I'm going to have whether it's null. So is null a1. And then I'm going to copy that. And this is going to be is set. And this one is going to be empty. So that's the first row. Let me go ahead and add a header row as well. So this is variable, and this is type, break this into multiple lines as well, and this is value, and this is, is null, is set, and empty. So then I'm going to copy this row and add copies for A2 through A8. I've only defined A7, but So A1, 2, 2, and 8. So let's go ahead and load this table and see what we get. So I have some errors because I'm trying to call get type on an undefined, oh, I misspelled get type with three T's, that's why. So we'll fix that. Type, type, type. 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 And one more. Type. There we go. So when we get to A8, we have some error messages because we're trying to access the type and value of an undefined variable. So let's go ahead and add some error suppression to those. Add an at sign. At sign. And then hit reload. Great. So here's my table. So it's a little messy. So let's go ahead and try to add some lines around each of these cells. So I'm going to go to the head of the document and add style. And so for all table cells, I'm going to set the border to 1px solid black. Let's see if that works. 
Great. So now I have borders around the cells. And I can see that A1 is null, the value is empty string, is null is true, is set is false, is empty is true. So null is empty, an empty string is empty, but set. So the difference between null and an empty string is that null is null, but not set empty string is not null and is set. The number zero is set and is also considered empty. Boolean true is set is not empty. Boolean false is set and is empty. The string Fred is set and is not empty. The number one is set and is not empty. And finally, an undefined variable is null, is not set, and is empty.